So guys, welcome back to Retro Car Dogs. Featuring today, 1961 Vauxhall Velox Overdrive 2.6, three-speed column change with two overdrive, overdrive in second and a change to third, switch it out of overdrive, change to third, switch it back into overdrive, essentially six gears if you want to be, and you want to be technical. Uh, 2.6 liter, probably only about 80 horsepower, but a great car. I've got one of these, beautiful motor car to drive. This is a six cylinder open road touring car, lovely motor car, fantastic. So this was around the transatlantic influence and styling where the Americans were bringing out the 57 Chevys and Bel Airs and things like that. So with the influence of the American market, the British decided to get into the same kind of thing, two-tone paint jobs, uh, wings on the back, things like that, little features that you could have a look, lots of chrome, big bumpers and things like that to make it really sort of catch that American feel within a British market. And I think they were pretty uh, successful. I know over in the UK they're considered voxels or rock boxes, but out in Africa and the African continent and Australia and places like that, hot climates, these cars don't rot. This car has very little rust, if any, on it at all, if it's superficial. So we don't suffer the same problem. So they hang around for years, they're reliable, they're great. This particular one, as you can see, most of the cars that you watch on our channel that are off the Lloyd uh, series have been parked in storage for a while, so they're dusty and dirty. We didn't wash them. We wanted you to see them as they were. We want to drive them as they were. This one's clutch house. It's feeling a little dodge, so when we get to do a drive on it, we might not go that far because they've been standing a long time. Old cars don't like to stand too long. We can move and have a look, guys. Period correct spotlights. This is an amazing front end. Absolutely lovely. This whole grill is absolutely beautiful. The little eyelets again, period extras. Lovely, lovely. Very nice. I really do like the front ends of these cars. Nice voxel badge. It's a bit faded, but it's still genuine. It's original. Love the big feature up the center of the bonnet. Windscreen wiper uh, squirters, which I don't think ever worked. Okay, if you swing around this side, you can see what I'm talking about. The two-tone uh, spray job. Um, commonly on Cresters, but some Velox, if you ordered it, you could get it like that. You can see there the Velox 2.6 badge. So it's a 2.6 litre displacement on the motor. Moving along. These are not period correct uh, um, wing mirrors, but not to worry about those. They sit generally over there on the fender. Moving here again, the lovely big curve around windscreen. Okay, curve around windscreen, which had its great for vision but could take the knees out and you'll see when i get in the car what i'm talking about okay again you split again your two-tone split with a nice chrome bead along here okay very nice feel very nice flowing lines moving back a big car okay so nice and roomy space again the whole wrap around back window lots of view out here but funny enough not too much out of the rear view mirror okay moving through here down this side you can see as these lines with a voxel badge over here. Here's the fin we're talking about, the American influence. Tall lock, tall tail lock like this. Moving in here. I don't know if the boot's open, let's see. Yeah, it is. Nice uh, big boots that you could store a lot of stuff in and you could take the family away. Uh, very, very nice. It's actually very nice. We've been down with these cars um, to Cape Town, to Natal. So we've driven these cars all over the country. So it really go very, very well. Yeah, this one's fitted with a tow hitch. Here's your little period, little tail, your uh, number plate tail light over here. It shines and reflects in your tail light. Again, followed with the chrome all the way around, the 2.6 badge over here. Just seen, and if you swing up here, you'll see here, here's the overdrive badge. Just telling you it's an overdrive vehicle, um, which is a Laycock, Laycock de Normaville overdrive. Very nice overdrive, works very, very well. Coming across here, the probably the Achilles heel is the filler cap, okay? It sits here, so you've got to pop it open like that. Okay, can close it, but the problem you have with this is when it rains, if the little seals around here don't work properly when it gets older, the rain water gets into the petrol tank and then you don't drive so nicely. So if we could find a car that ran on petrol, these would run on petrol. But again, very, very nice. Lovely big chrome all around, the rain channels. So on the cresters, this would be chrome. Around the doors, this would all be chrome. These things would be chrome on the cresters. So this is where this is the Velox model, which is the one below the luxury version of the Cresta. So let's, let's, okay, well let's open, let's open this door here and have a look at the interior here. As you can see, here's, here's the widow maker or the knee injury right here. So if you come here, when you get into this car, sit backwards, Oop, mind your head and watch this, because if you don't see that and you swing your leg in, you have to take your leg out on that. And then you get in and as you can see, it's got armrest in the middle here, very nice. 
cubby hole over here. It's done in this artificial sort of wood grain. And it's also on the doors. If you swing the camera to the door and you'll have a look. This has got its original upholstery. You can see the features. You can see how it's pressed out of the factory. So this is original. Okay, all these seams are original from factory. This artificial wood grain. You can see the wear and tear on it from there. And if you come in here, a padded dashboard. Um, it has the, the the visors are nice. It has this rear view mirror here, which I don't know what it does because you don't really see much out of it. And we'll swing around and go around now to the driver's side. We can have a look at the driver's side setup. Um, and if I open the back door here, you'll see it's got lots of space in the back, which is really, really nice. Again, look where the door handle is. It's part of the door. It's not a separate handle like that is. It's there as a feature. Push in and open up and off you go. So again, nice space in you get mind the head this time okay and then you get nice and comfortable so back in the day the thing was smoking there's an ashtray it's sitting heavy of smoke in the back which people don't do much today very comfortable seat in the back nice car on a long distance drive all of this as you can see this 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 pattern of that this is all absolutely original from 1961 this has never been reupholstered this car is totally original that's what makes it so nice it's a believable motor car it's really really nice interior so let's move on let's uh, pop around to the driver's side and have a look and see there what that looks like follow me uh, doors closed really nice come on around again as you can see it's the original original interior original upholstery inside really nice big steering wheel so this is where you get in here. don't do that you bash the knee you've got to put the leg straight get in and don't swing it up Keep it down, swing the knee in, foot out, and you're in. Armrest, so go. Three on the tree, or three on the column, column change. First gear down here, reverses up against the steering wheel, down to neutral, up to the dashboard, second, straight down away from the dashboard is third. Handbrake sits over here, key starts here, and your headlights and your windscreen wipers are over here. Okay, your speedo, really cool. It runs in a straight line you'll see when we're driving just now and the faster you go the little bar moves and changes colors going up that way but like i said this one's clutch is not feeling happy so we're not going to drive that uh, far with it but um yeah i think it's about time we jump in and go for a drive what do you say guys so uh, let's go for a run she's in first gear okay i need to pump the clutch a little bit because the clutch has obviously been standing a while let's just give her a start love the old cars look at that first turn turn the key uh let the handbrake off uh, let's go for a run guys 2.6 liter nice and responsive cars great to drive off we go okay how nice is that eh? awesome yeah no, i can feel that clutch at least pump the clutch a little bit i'm into second okay brakes pretty good okay like all these cars you've got to test these things before you drive them make sure brakes and things like that are okay uh, i've got somebody now i'm not sure whether they want to drive not drive drive slowly uh, really come on this so you know, the only challenge you have driving the old cars is the modern cars they don't have respect for these old cars so they really just do their own thing you know so anyway pulling up over here at the stop street so this is like the other oh if you look over there there's a friend of ours shine your camera over there cameraman that's a mark one zephyr that i used to have not that particular one one similar to it it's a friend of ours okay anyway off we go oh dear into the second gear so off we go i stalled it there <laughs> so um let's go down here so there we are we're into third gear and we're cruising lovely steering wheels very light to drive these cars it's not taxing or tiring um so from that perspective very very nice brakes are much better brakes are far better than the uh the little um uh, Morris, yeah, obviously. So let's see. This is a longer car. If we can do a one-hit U-turn uh, uh, in, into first gear, we go. Let's get going. Oh, Hooter. Oh, okay, Hooter works. Hooter works. There we go. That's me nearly stalling again. Okay, off we go. So you see a lot more acceleration. Oops, that's me. Second gear. Much stronger, you can see the speedo changing color into third gear. Off we go. So, yeah, it's got a lot more torque and a lot more power, obviously, being a six cylinder. Um, into first gear here. Can you hear that six cylinder talking? Lovely. Really drives well. Pulls nice and easy. Lots of power. 
distinct difference and easy to drive. Booter. So we're just going to pull straight in the yard, guys, because this clutch is feeling a little dodge. So uh, yeah, I don't want to push it too far. Um, it is what it is. The old cars do not like standing long periods of times, guys. They do not like standing. They've got to be used regularly. So he has a word of advice. If you have one of these cars, try and make sure that you drive it on a regular basis. Otherwise, they stand and break down while they're standing. But anyway, so here we are just trying to drive in the yard. And I'm going to reverse in there to the spot. Let's get it in. Park it away. Got a ring mirror, wing mirrors and side mirrors of no value. So I've got to sort of turn the head around. Get used to that driving them. And make sure I don't hit the tree over there. Am I in? Yeah, here we go. Get in there. Get in there. We're almost in. Yeah, there we go. So guys, that concludes a awesome drive in a very nice motor car. Right, so I thought what I'd do is show you this motor and how simple it is. You've got to come here. There's a little lever over here. Pop the lever and up comes the bonnet. And as you can see, very, very simplistic layout. It's a single carburetor. Okay, um, 2.6 straight six, very simplistic, very simplistic engines. Okay, water squirter bottle over there. I don't know if it actually works on this particular one. Um, I think they don't generally work, but um, it's nice to have it. Still the old generator, as you can see over here. We've just taken the car for drive, so it's a bit hot, but there's the Jenny over there. It's got uh, two mountings on the side, uh, one in the gearbox, where the earlier models, which you'll see in programs that come up later, it's, it has a mounting on the front and a mounting on the back. Um, your fuel pump sits on this side here, which is an old manual fuel pump. Watch your head cameraman. Your fuel pump sits over here, which is an old manual system, which pumps and works off the cam in the engine. That pumps around here sits your, your um, uh, water pump over here. Started down the bottom of that side, sorry, or Jenny over there. Okay, so master cylinders for your brake and clutch over there. And I have a suspicion, because this one's clutch is not happy, that this unit um, could be faulty. So it wouldn't allow us to go for a longer run. I wouldn't want to take the chance and break down and have no clutch. So yeah, as you can see, ample space if you want to have a classic car and you want to restore it. Ample space to get in here, work, and make it pretty. A lot of guys chrome these things, chrome those, and they really go to town. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Some sort of technical information from me not being the greatest of technical information. Shout out to my friend Brian, commonly known as Rusty Hinges, the gang leader. Uh, the, the plastic trike driver, um, awesome friend of mine for more than uh, two and a half decades, great guy or great all-round guy, um, allowed me to take the cars out while he's away just to do a test on them so you guys can have something to watch. A lot more cars that he's got that we're going to test in the weeks to come so we hope that you stay tuned, uh, you know what to do guys. Subscribe, like, share, tell all your buddies about Retro Car Dogs, we're on Instagram and we're on TikTok as well so go and watch all those things give us some comments tell us what you think tell us if there's cars that you own that you want us to maybe come out and do a road test on and drive them we'll come out we'll do it we'll put it on our youtube channel don't forget us retro car dogs have an awesome 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 day from my cameraman myself bye for now